Exciting, exciting, exciting day here on Haraya. We are sailing downwind in light breeze, five to 10 knots. And for the first time ever, we are flying our spinnaker. first light but close enough I guess we're gonna take off here in just a few minutes after we finish putting our stuff away get a little bit of coffee and off we go there's not a lot of wind out there it might just be bouncing around until we get until it fills in There is eelgrass on our chain. It makes a huge mess. It's gonna take us a minute to get this anchor up. We're gonna wash the anchor chain as we go so the eelgrass doesn't go inside the anchor locker and die and smell. There wasn't a whole lot of eelgrass on it, just a little bit. And luckily there wasn't a big clump on the anchor. So with that, we are going to motor out of here. We'll probably have to motor for an hour or two before the wind fills. And then after that, we should have 10 to 15 and we'll start sailing. Well, we've been motoring for two hours now. I don't know if the wind's ever gonna fill in. It is what it is. This is a lot of the cruising life. Um, everyone portrays that they sail all the time or something, but that's just not reality there is quite a bit of motor in unless you really like to drift we do know some guys that you know burn 20 hour 20 gallons of fuel a year um, and good for them it's amazing I don't think we have quite that much patience we did when our engine was broken but now that it's running we seem to you know want to just go see stuff right but I was just thinking it's amazing what the difference the weather does last time we came through this area it was blowing 25, 30 knots. Uh, we accidentally jibed, broke four, three or four um, sail slugs up our mast. It was a rough, miserable ride. And now it's pretty much just dead calm out. Yeah, it's pretty much calm. <laughs> yeah, it is gorgeous out though. It's nice and warm, bright. I think I'm squinting. Squinting and I got sunglasses on the top of my head. I might as well wear them. But it's a beautiful day. We are still hoping the wind picks up. We'd much rather sail the motor, but it is what it is. We are flying our spinnaker. We have never done this before. We're really nervous. Let's check this thing out. Woo! She's beautiful. It's pushing us along at five and a half knots. We didn't even know we could do it and we did it! <laughs> it all looks right. We think it looks right. This is gonna be our favorite new downwind sail. We were doing five knots and pretty much no breeze. Normally, like we were motoring 10 minutes ago until we got this in the air. This is exciting stuff for us. We made it a goal this summer, the next eight weeks, to learn how to fly the spinnaker for some downwind sailing. She's pretty much brand new. Like I don't think it's ever really been flown. It is a symmetrical spinnaker. So what we are doing is we're using these parallel beads wrapped around our um, furled head sail. And it comes down to what I'm gonna call like a downhaul. And this allows us to put the clues on our spinnaker the same height, because this, this kite's supposed to fly level. Oh man, look at that thing. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Ah, so much fun to learn new stuff. We don't know if we got it quite trimmed just right, but we're gonna mess around with this thing and see what we can do. But anyways, we do have a pole, and so that means we could fly this dead downwind. Um, we don't have everything rigged up to do that. Uh, one day, we'll do that as well. But right now, we're just happy the spinnaker's up. And it's flying. I wondered if it was gonna feel different or... 
or any, I don't know. I just didn't know what it was gonna be like. We are gonna be extremely cautious with it. We're not gonna fly it in anything big. The winds build up enough that we can just fly our head cell on a pole and do our five, six knots and that's fine with us. So I am gonna have to do some research. The back of the sail is fluttering a little bit, like just a little bit, and I don't know what that means. Obviously the wind's not coming off of it just quite right um, and we should trim it better. So I'm gonna fuss around with this thing for a minute, see what we can do. Well, the wind picked up just a little bit more. Um, we got to maybe 10, 15 knots. And I know we should be flying our spinnaker at that, not a big deal, but it was our first time flying it. We'd actually never taken it down before. And so the wind builds a little bit. We decided we'd play it safe and take it down. So next time we'll fly it in a little bit bigger winds because we won't have, you know, we won't be first timers anymore. But we're still making four and a half to five knots with the main up and the head sail. I did end up having to turn upwind a little bit to get this some um, wind in the head sail there. And you'd think I'd attach that spinnaker pole ring so I could at least pull out the head sail. That's on the list to do. We'll probably do that in the next couple of days. Cause then we could just pull this head cell out, fly a little bit better, we'd go a little quicker, you know, but all in due time. We get lazy. Looking at the chart last night and on Google Earth and stuff and satellite imagery, and we found this little bay up here on the top of Conception. It was not in our cruiser's guide. I've been using this cruiser's guide called the Sea of Cortez from Sean Breeding and Heather Bansmere. Um, it's a great guide. It's colored pictures, it's got good descriptions. Um, but we found this little spot up in the top of Bahia Conception on Google Earth that looks like you can anchor there. There's supposed to be an old mine that's been run down and, and no longer in operation. And you know us and our, we, how much we love old buildings. So we thought we'd go try it. It's not in the cruiser's guide. So it's a little nervous. Um, we're gonna poke our nose in there and see what it looks like. 
there are two other cruising guides that we know of, and one of them is called Charlie Charts. So I WhatsApp my buddy Kirby, because I knew he had the book. I asked him if he had heard of this anchorage, if it was in Charlie's Charts, and sure enough, it's there. There, somebody has anchored in there before. This is Bahia Concepcion. We're down in here right now, sailing north. We're doing one up here, and there's this little spot right there called Los Pilares. That is our goal for the night. Yeah, this is delightful. A little breeze. You can hear the boat, you can hear Haraya just slowly charging along through the sea here. The sound of the ocean, the waves. This is amazing. Sun's out. What a great day. I think we got maybe 14 more miles to go or something. Uh, we will end up jiving once, maybe twice. Is fine, jiving's easy. Yeah, and then hopefully we get to tuck into that little bay that we don't know anything about. And have a nice, comfortable night. That's the plan, anyways. But you know, sailing, you know, cruising and plans, they never usually work out, but every now and then everything lines up, things go well. Our last few sails have been upwind, 20, 25 knots, reefed, bashed in these square seas here in the Sea of Cortez. They haven't been that comfortable. And then you do this nice, easy, breezy, downwind sail. Like, you almost forget how easy this is and how fun and relaxing and how enjoyable sailing can be when you're not getting your ass handed to you, beating up wind all the time. This is great. Guess who's not sick? This one, right here, right here. Did you take medicine? Nope, just, this isn't great, but just sit back, relax. Feel the wind in my hair, my face, on my face. You know, just, I took a nap for a second. That's only cause what else is there to do? <laughs> yeah, this, this downwind stuff definitely brings back some joy of sailing. It's good to know how to bash up wind, but man, it's just not very fun. This is much better. Much, much better. We haven't touched the cells for a good hour or two now. Autopilot's doing his job driving. Like, it's like being on vacation. I'm not doing anything right now. <laughs> just enjoying the scenery and the sound of the wind and the waves. Watching the water temperature increase. Check it out. Woo! <laughs> Woo it's always a good thing when you start seeing that number creep up. It's been in the upper 60s, like, I don't know, 67, 68. It's been into the barely 70. And it should be, we were told. Um, over the radio or by someone I don't quite remember who told us that down in Bahia Concepcion It is 75 degree water temperature that will be lovely Well, we had a fish and It was a big one. We never saw it, but the freaking drag went bzzz, And the pool bent down and then it snapped the line bit it off. I don't know what happened, but lost my lure Crap. Thank you. 
Winds have filled in great now. We're cruising along six, six and a half knots. Nice little beam reach. miles to go then we're gonna drop all these sails start the engine and we're gonna slowly slowly tuck into this cove we've never been here it's fairly unmarked we're just gonna creep in there we're gonna tuck our nose in a little bit and if we don't like it or if the swell is um, too far or too bouncy in there we're not quite sure it says it's got good protection from the southwest and the winds kind of blowing from the southeast so we'll see if not, we'll roll around the corner four or five more miles before dark into a place called Domingo. We've been in Domingo before. Hoping, really hoping we can get into this cove. Approach in. Yeah. This would have been much easier if it wasn't windy. What fun would that have been? Then we just spotted the flag out there. I don't know what that is. The lobster paw, end of a long line. I'm not sure. We're gonna poke our nose in here a little bit more and the swell should stop a little bit and we're gonna take a peek around. anchored in here um, we're in about 15 feet of water and what we believe to be sand beneath us pretty sure we avoided the whatever Charlie's chart said would just you know take our anchor and never return it we are pretty sure we avoided all that it is a little bit rolly in here just because the wind um, came a little more easterly today otherwise it is a beautiful beautiful little bay there's a little fish camp over there some abandoned little structures, um, quite a few birds. We're hoping, as forecasted, the wind's supposed to shift here in a little bit and kind of start blowing real light from the west, which may knock this little easterly swell down. I'm not sure what it'll do, but we can handle one night. The boat's not that uncomfortable at the moment. And I think tomorrow morning, we're probably gonna launch the dinghy and dinghy the mile around to that abandoned mine structure. At least that's kind of the plan for now. For that, we are just going to enjoy our evening. <laughs> are you ready for some exploring? 
I don't know. It was fine all night. And then at like four in the morning, the wind died. Is that when it started? Yeah. It feels like it's been going all night. It started at four. The swell switched or something happened out there. And now we were just rolling and rolling and rolling. I can barely cook the coffee. <laughs> So I don't know what the plan is for that. I don't even know if we can get the dinghy off to go explore that mine or not. Um, we may end up just motoring out of here to a calmer, calmer bay. Um, Cause this is not awesome. This is why people start getting used to finding the most perfect anchorage to begin with. They get tired of I so many of our oh wow. So many of our friend new friends say that they won't even stop at an anchorage if there's a possibility it will roll because it's so uncomfortable. I'm starting to kind of understand why they're just have no tolerance for it at all. There was no reason we couldn't sleep last night except for this rolling. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at this. It'll throw you out of bed and then it just kind of settles down again. Well, no mine exploration for us today. The swell has kicked us out. Look at this. I'm not sure what's going on, but there's like three to four foot little rollers coming in here. So I don't know if there's maybe some wind up north somewhere pushing this in, but something's pushing the swell in. This is not, it didn't blow at all last night really. It came from the west a little bit, real light. Nothing to cause this stuff. Um, so we are going to get out of here, go around the corner down into Concepcion, find a better, safer place to anchor, and maybe we'll be able to do that mine another day. We will see. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we hope you follow us next time as we sail into Bahia Conception where we enjoy warmer waters and quaint coves. Make every day an adventure. Cheers!